Well hello there everyone, Gameplay Vids 24-7 here. Welcome to the first part of my Idol Wizard gameplay walkthrough series for the PC. Ladies and gentlemen, Idol Wizard has just been released on Steam. To the best of my knowledge though, it is an older title, but I think it's just made its first appearance on Steam. Pretty much the game is about a wizard trying to be as powerful as possible. You can get some pets as well, and it looks like you can get spells. Can't wait to see what's about to go down. Please remember, of course, to hit that like and subscribe button if you enjoyed. I will be posting Idol Wizard every second day on my channel. So if you want to see more, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And yeah, let's kick it off now, shall we? So all we need to do, I think, is tap that orb in the middle. There we go, we're kicking things off here. I'm gonna purchase a mana gem. The mana gem gives me one times 15, okay. So I'm assuming that's gonna give me that mana. Yes, it is, cool. So we're automatically generating mana right now, which is great. I'm just gonna to continue to manually click here though until I can upgrade my mana gem. Because right now, I think the items on the right side generate the idle boost, do you know what I mean? Like the idle DPS. There are 50 mana, looks like mana is the currency right now. I can unlock double clicks right here. The upgrade increases click profit by one. Just continue to click here as much as we can, generate that mana. Actually upgrade mana gem quite a bit there if I can. Mana gem is now on level eight. I mean, this game shouldn't be too hard to understand, right? Nice, 15 minutes unlocked. Okay, I also I played Idle Wizard for 15 minutes already, sweet. Now you can actually get classes in this game, which is very, very cool. So right now I'm an apprentice, right? Level one apprentice. But you can get multiple, multiple classes, man. I can't wait to show you them all. Uh, what is this? What does it actually do? 240 mana. Oh, yeah, I'll take that, definitely. So now, as you can see, in the top left corner, we're generating quite a bit of mana there straight away off the bat. If we can keep this up, though, we should be able to get quite a bit of upgrades as well. What's the next upgrade going to cost? Heavy clicks is 425 mana. Let me just upgrade that Grimoire again. I just leveled up, by the way, there as well. Level 2 on the Apprentice. As you can see, you click on uh, Change Class, and now you can pick your classes. Uh, we have a Druid, Demonologist, Necromancer, Arcanist, Prodigy, Voidmancer, Exorcist, Chronomancer, Umberancer, is it? Alchemist, Iron Soul, Abolisher, Shaman, Heretic, Oni, Archon, Temporalist, and Desolator. So that's for the classes, and we don't get that until we're level 15, I'm fairly sure. I did just unlock heavy clicks there, by the way, guys. So now we're doing six damage per click, or maybe even uh, generating six mana per click as well. Could be. If you want to base it on damage or clicks, whatever you want to do. Mana Quartz increases mana gems profit by 100%. Nice, so then what we'll do, we'll level up mana gem a bit more there. Mana gem is generating 52.38% of our total mana income, which is pretty nice. I'll take that, it's pretty good, dude. Just need to keep on clicking here, obviously. About to generate, what is this? 20th level on the mana gem there. We do have a new uh, item here, Spell Fountain. I think we'll level up Spell Fountain in a second. But as I'm saying, dude, Idle, Idle Wizard seems like a very cool game. Looks like there's tons and tons to do on it. Apparently it's been in development for like two years or so. So yeah, I'm very, very interested in that. I will show you guys the pets here as well. So let, let me just show you the pets. So we have a Pixie, Zombie, Homunculus, <laughs> uh, Daemon, or Demon, whatever you want to do. I call it Daemon, but you know, Demon. Golem, Spellhound, Void Fiend, Devourer, Interrogator, Geode is it? Shadow Stalker, Ent, Risen Giant, Simulacrum is it? Simulacrum? <laughs> uh, Pit Lord, Anima Construct, Akana Warg, Void Terror, is it Hungara? The problem is I can't pronounce some of these names, they're so bloody freaking hard. <laughs> Laykeeper and the, here we go, Evan Sand Behemoth. Charged Orb is the next one here. It increases click profit by 17.70. Excellent. Now we're generating that mana, dude. We're almost at, yeah, we just passed the K there. Let me just upgrade the Grimmore again. Just spamming as much as I can here. Do I want to save up for the Spell Fountain, everyone? That's the real question right now. And I can buy in batches as well. I just bought 25 batches of the Mana Gem. Not too sure how much it's really going to help me, but that's all right. We'll just keep on spamming until we can upgrade. Maybe the Grimoire again. 
Oh no, we got magical clicks here. Increases click profit by 13. Definitely gonna pinch that straight away. I think it'd be quite silly not to upgrade. Uh, we'll, we'll focus on upgrades straight away. I mean, my priority will probably be, we'll do upgrades first, guys, and then we'll do the items on the right side. Achieve unlocked orb, okay. Okay, just increase my mana profit again there. Sweet. So mana per sec there. It's 40.69 right now. But I can obviously click faster than that. Burst experience grants a first spell scroll, allowing to choose and cast spells. Okay, gem resonance or magic missile. Let's get magic missile. So if I click, I generate a magic missile here, is it? Instantly earns one minute of production. It seems like when I click it, it helps boost that production there of the magic missile. Which you can't really complain with there, right? Run 6.5 or even past now, almost at 10k mana right now. Just use magic missile straight away there. Now we're on 12 point something there. Hmm. Again, 2.44k mana as soon as I use magic missile. Extra kick. Increases character critical profit by 70%. Sure. Now I'm doing 100 damage there per click if I do get a critical. I'm now level 3 as well. I think level 15 I get a uh, new class. So can I now choose a pet? Yes, I can. The pixie. Click profit increased by 25% per level. Auto click one times per second for each of the 20 pet levels. Click profit equals to character click profit with critical chance of 50% and critical profit 100% of character's critical chance and profit. Gains experience through her auto clicks. Okay, let's go. We now have a pixie pet, everyone. There you go. Let me just use mana agate. Increases mana gem profits by 150%. Yes, please. Definitely take that up. Might actually have to upgrade some of these spells soon, I think. Just upgrade spell fountain a bit there, Elite, just to boost that mana per second. Just use the magic missile there as well. Upgrade spell fountain again. We are generating 135 mana per second, 154 mana per second. Beautiful stuff. We're actually doing pretty well right now, everyone. I'm just thinking, do I want to upgrade my mana gem again soon, though? That's the thing. Spell fountain is going to cost 1.08 million. Jeez, that's to get 25 batches of it. It's quite intense. Sorceress clicks increases click profit by 43. All right, that's pretty sweet. We're doing 128 uh, damage right now, guys, per click. Crits are pulling in over 259. Powered orb increases click profit by 210. Yes, beautiful. We're off here, dude. Look at this. Now we're picking up that speed. So it looks like you can actually have hotkeys here as well. So, hotkey one activates magic missile. No worries, so keep that in mind. Wizardy clicks. Increases click profit by 80 again. I guess since I'm going to be sitting in front of the computer mostly to record this episode, so like I might mainly spec into upgrades instead of the idle damage perhaps. Or do you need like a solid mix of both? I mean, it is an idle game, so you probably need a solid mix of both there. Grimoire just got an upgrade of 100% then, by the way. We're now pulling in 382 mana per second, ladies and gentlemen. We just passed 100k mana in total. Powered sources increases profits by 14.23% based on amount of Grimoires. Doing very, very nicely here. What else we got? Exile. Going into Exile makes you lose progress in exchange for Mysteries. Earn 1 trillion mana to unlock Exile. Current amount of Mysteries is zero. Each Mystery increases profits by 3%. Right. So we do have a whole bunch of things we still have to unlock here. Looks like we even have achievements as well. Yeah, we have to go into Exile eventually, guys, I guess. Increases idle bonus by 0.25%. We're now generating 437 mana per second. Just trying to upgrade the mana gem as soon as possible here, I reckon. There you go, mana gem. Upgraded. Beautiful. 
I'm almost level five here, guys, as the apprentice. My pixie's almost level three. I have to say, I am liking Idle Wizard quite a bit. I reckon this game has some pretty fun potential, dude, for sure, once you get into the later stages, especially. About to pass 200k mana right now. Very good. Not gonna get any upgrades from my items anytime soon, though, by the looks of it. If you guys can see here right now, I can't really upgrade in batches anymore. So I'm just gonna unlock the enchanted tree there. Oh, we just picked up something then, that was cool. You guys see that just then? I just picked up something here on one of these totems or whatever it is. Something else to pick up around here? No? Okay. All good. All right. So, mana jack increases mana gem profits by 200%. Rituals for beginners increases grimoire by 100%. Increase enchanted tree, increase spell fiat in there. We're now pulling in 5k mana almost per second. And now it's dropping. Mana per second is dropping quite a bit there. Wow, that's actually going down. Jeez. I keep upgrading Enchanted Tree a bit. Click. 933 mana generated from the clicks. Auto clicks. Apparently I'm auto clicking because of the Pixie, obviously. That definitely does help us out having the Pixie. Just gonna use my um, magic missile straight away. Increase Enchanted Tree to level 10 if I can. Uh, if I upgrade Enchanted Tree to level 10, I get that one times one zero bonus. So obviously leveling in batches does help quite a bit. Spell Fountain just got a nice little batch upgrade there. Bird Bath, increase Spell Fountain's profit by 100%, nice. I'm just clicking like a madman right now, but that's okay. Enchanted Tree is now level 10 as well. Generating 4.75K. Mana per second, solid here. Level six as well right now. Can't really do anything else at this point. And I'm on 500k mana almost now though, which is nice. Wizardly clicks, increases click profit by 192. Keep on spamming here, try and max out that uh, magic missile. Get it activated as soon as possible. Level seven now, sweet. Increases click profit by 1% of your mana per second. Nice, that could help. Mana gem is now sitting at level 50. Grimoire is sitting at 25. Spell Fountain's at 10. Enchanted Tree is at 10. I'm gonna try and unlock the Alchemy Desk if I can. 3.13k mana per second. Let's bump this up to 8.14k per second. Beautiful stuff indeed. I just can't really upgrade anything else at this point, can I? I have to just keep using the magic missile. <laughs> oh no, there we go. Spell Fountain up by 25 there. Almost at 10k solid mana per second. Just remember this game is 100% free now. What is that doing down there? Shards in the pool. We're now generating shards. Cool. Pretty sweet, dude. So now if I let it expand out, does that mean if I click... I get all those shards. Spell shards. Oh, here we go. Spell shards. Average spell shards gained passively per second. Three. I don't know what the hell to do with spell shards. Well, not yet, anyway. Interesting. Maybe that will come in handy later on, everyone. Spell shards. I might have to look up like what that means. Idle mode off. Increase the production by 50%. Okay, so you can heavily go idle mode if you just don't touch anything at all. 50% production would be pretty nice, so it means I don't have to keep, like, keep spamming. I just want to see how good this goes. 14k there, guys, generated mana per second. Wonderful. Extra sprinklers. Bridge the spell fountain profit by 100%. Awesome. We're now pulling off 17k. Nice. That's all because idle mode is on there. Very helpful for us. Should I max out Enchanted Tree? 18.56k. It's level 13 though, the tree right now. I do want to actually try and unlock the Mana Gem a little bit more, maybe to 75 if I can. But it's 6.25 million, that's the only problem. Increases Spell Shards generation from clicks by one. I'm just keep on spamming here. I might as well just go back into dealing out the, the click damage here. 
We're level eight now, guys. Level eight apprentice, wonderful. As I said, I'm not too sure exactly what's going on with the uh, the spell shards just yet. As I said, I will look it up once I'm off the, the part of this episode, guys, okay? Market. I guess you spend real life money maybe with relics, I'm assuming. That made the most sense, wouldn't it? One million mana right now. Two million mana right now, thanks to that uh, magic missile. If I can keep generating that magic missile, that'd be fantastic. Would spell shards have to do with this or not? I reckon it, during spell shards has to do with generating magic missiles and stuff. I mean, that would make the most sense, right? Shards and spell shards. So I reckon it all has to do with, think of it as like ammunition maybe. That's what I'm gonna go with right now. I have that gut feeling that's what it is, dude. Achievement, few books. Grimoire's at 50 now. Level 50 Grimoire, guys. Very nice. I definitely recommend you all try out Idle Wizard though. Like play along with me maybe if you want to. I mean, that'd make the most sense, dude. We can all play together. I've started a whole new game here, so you might as well. Just smashing out the clicks right now. Trying to get that magic missile up. Sitting at 5 million right now. Trying to, I need to try and get 6.25 million just for that mana gem increase. I really do want to do it. Anime assistance increases idle bonus by 0.20 and an additional by 10%. Sure, I'll spend all my money on that. I might as well. No harm in that, dude. Keep on buying upgrades as much as I can here. But yeah, we will get the mana gem as soon as possible here. We'll save up again. I'll control my spending urges, guys. Don't you worry. But I'm just pumping out the click damage right now. Level 9 now. Sweet, we just hit level 9. Very good for us. We're at 4.50 million almost. There we go, 4.50. Gonna use another spell. Great stuff. Gonna get that mana gem now, guys. Get ready for it. Just need to try and crit. There we go, mana gem. Nice. 75, that's almost at, we're now almost at a solid 20K mana per second, dude. Which is great for us. I'm just gonna upgrade here. My single file uh, alchemy desk. 22 point, look at that, 22.58K there on the alchemy desk, bro. Sweet. Let's push this all the way up there. 8.17K per second just by the alchemy desk. Wonderful stuff. This is how you do it, bro. I might even save up for the alchemy desk just again. Almost at level 10 as well. Pixie's at level 6. Things are going pretty smoothly. 33.38k mana per second right now, ladies and gentlemen. There you have it. I'm gonna try and get an enchanted tree to 25 if I can. I'm just thinking, I need to get to 25 though, that's the only problem. Achieve unlocked, following the path, level 10. Upgrade the alchemy desk yet again here, guys, to generate more mana. All right, enchanted tree is now at 25, ladies and gentlemen. Sweet, bro. So, what I wanna do now, guys, is wrap it up here. Thank you so much for tuning in to the first episode of Idle Wizard. Really do appreciate it. Hopefully, you guys wanna see more on the channel. Be sure to show your support if you do by hitting that like, subscribe button. Checking back every two days or so for the next Idle Wizard episodes, or you can check back every day to watch all my content. I really would appreciate it. Social media links are in the description below. I'll catch you all then. See you around, guys. Cheers again for watching.